I cannot hear anything. What can you tell us about what the last couple days were like for you, uh, dealing with the uh, absence? Oh. Um. I uh, woke up and uh, with a with a sore throat. Um, called the trainers and uh, and uh, I had to go through the the protocols uh, that they made for for things like that and um, everything was was fine and uh, today I got the okay to play. And we'll go next to uh, Carter Brooks. Go ahead, Carter. Hi, Nick. Just a quick question here on how you viewed Patrick Laine's game today. Obviously, he's had uh, a little bit of comments of the media as to uh, wanting to be in Winnipeg, maybe not wanting to be in Winnipeg. Does this solidify some of what he kind of can produce for you guys on a regular basis? Yeah. I, I mean, he played a great game today. Not just the goals and the passes that... that that he ended up making um he played a great overall game and and everybody saw that out there today he was he was working hard he was stepping up for uh for casey um he uh he worked his ass off um so that's uh pretty exciting um and uh yeah he loves to play hockey we'll go next to mike mcintyre from the winnipeg free press go ahead mike and Nikolai, just going back to yesterday and the sore throat, uh, how worried were you that this was something um, that, that should be concerning? Uh, did you think it could be COVID or were you pretty confident that it was going to be a negative test and you'd be able to play? Well, I mean, the, the thing is, like, if, if this would have been, if it wouldn't have been these times, these COVID times right now, I, I would have come to practice. I would have practiced. Um, but... You know, it's a it's a precaution. Um, you know, I don't want to come to the rink in 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 case that it is COVID. I don't want to spread it. Um, so, you know, I had no problem with staying at home. Those are the protocols. I want to be safe. I want my teammates and and everyone that is is close to me here. I want them to be safe as well. So. Um, you know, I'm I'm glad that there are these protocols. You know, obviously you want to be out there on the ice, even even for practice. You want to be around your team, um, but um, there's reason those those protocols are there, um, and they're a big part of why we're we're allowed to play. So um, it was uh, it was fine with me. Uh, I ended up playing today, and I'm happy I uh, I was out there. We'll go next to uh, Marat Natash from the Athletic. Go ahead, Marat. Hi, Nick. Uh, speaking of you playing, I mean, that start to the second period seemed like a big turning point in the game. What was the vibe like coming out of that intermission and then heading into that first shift? Um, we uh, we know we, we didn't play an amazing first period. Um, you know, I, I don't know what, what was going on, but we were maybe a little bit uh, too tight. But um, we kind of just took a step back, relaxed, and went out there and, and, and played some fun hockey. Um, you know, everybody on the bench uh, from the start of the second period was uh, was excited, was uh, relaxing, was uh, was ready to, to play the Winnipeg Jets style hockey. And, and, you know, I think we dominated from the second period until the end um, and, and deserved that win. So it um, feels great to sit here with two points. We're next to Sean Reynolds from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Sean. Actually, I'm good, Gregor. Sorry about that. I forgot to put my hand down. So we'll go to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg side. Go ahead, Paul. Hi, uh, Nick. Uh, what was it like playing in this normally loud arena, empty, and, and how much of your home ice advantage is kind of gone with the crowd? Um, it's different. I mean, we, we did it in the summer, uh, in the bubble in Edmonton. Um, and you know, you, uh, you miss your fans. Uh, that's obvious. Um, it, it was a little bit weird sitting there and, and, you know, even for the national anthem and 
during the introduction from the start uh, with with no one there. It was uh, it was different, um, but you know, home eyes. Nobody's gonna have home eyes advantage this year um, with the fans. Um, so it's it's equal for everyone, and um, you know, I, I think I think we're just. Uh, we're happy and and appreciate the chance to to go out and play and and you know we know how much work there's there's been put into this and uh we're doing our best to to stay safe and uh follow the protocols and uh, yeah you know it's exciting to be out there again it's been a long time um so yeah and uh finally we'll end off with uh Jeff Hamilton from the free press go ahead Jeff Nick, you're used, to, uh, you're used to Patrick giving this team a boost through, you know, scoring nice goals, but what can it do for the bench when you see, you know, him willing to, to muck it up in the corner and defend it to me? I, I could not hear that either. Sorry, Nick, I said you're used to Patrick Liney's, you know, giving the team a boost, scoring goals, but what does it do for the bench when you see a guy like him, you know, muck it up in the corners, uh, you know, get in the dirty areas? Yeah, it, it, you know, it gets the team fired up. Um, I will say I, I've maybe been... A little bit in his head um, in the last week, you know, saying that he hasn't fought yet um, and when it was going to happen. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think he took that a little personal. So, um, you know, he, he stood up for a teammate um, and, you know, it fires the guys up. Um, you know, Patty's a big boy um, and he went in there today and, and, and showed that. So um, it's exciting gets the boys going, it always does. Um, and it got himself uh, buzzing too, so uh, that's exciting for us. Thanks very much.